Welcome to this edition of Ethical Sustainable Investment News and Analysis to Profit By. I'm Ron Robbins, an ethical investing pioneer for over 40 years, quoted in the Wall Street Journal, Market Watch, The Globe and Mail, and numerous other media, and founder of the highly respected global ethical sustainable investing information website, Investing for the Soul. And please listen to my disclosure disclaimer statement at the end of this podcast. Now enjoy this podcast. Hello, Ron Robbins here. Just a quick note before I start. I'm taking some time off, so my next podcast after this one will be on August 23rd. So welcome to this podcast episode 135 titled great high-yielding ESG stocks, plus it's presented by Investing for the Soul. Investingforthesoul.com is your site for vital global ethical and sustainable investing mentoring, news, commentary, information and resources. Now remember that you can find a full transcript and links to content including stock symbols and bonus material on this episode's podcast page located at investingforthesoul.com forward slash podcasts. Also, a reminder, I do not evaluate any of the stocks or funds mentioned in these podcasts, nor do I receive any compensation from anyone covered in these podcasts. Furthermore, I will reveal to you any personal investments I have in the investments mentioned herein. Additionally, quotes about individual companies are brief. Please go to this podcast webpage for links to the actual articles for more company and stock information. Also, some companies might be covered more than once. And there are also two article links below that time didn't allow me to review them here. Now, besides capital gains, many of you also want income from your ethical investments. So this article should interest you. It's titled, Five High-Yielding Global Renewable Energy Stocks. And it's by Quinn Rennell and published on Morningstar.com. Here are some points from the article. However, much more information is quoted on this episode's web page. Quote, For this article, we looked at the Morningstar Global Markets Renewable Energy Index. We screened for stocks covered by Morningstar analysts and then sorted them by forward dividend yield to find the five with the highest payouts. All these stocks are undervalued, carrying Morningstar ratings of four or five stars. Top yielding global renewable energy stocks data as of the 12th of July, 2024. First company is Proximus, with a Morningstar rating of five, an ESG risk rating assessment low, and a forward dividend yield of 18.23%. Next is a Vodafone Group, also with a five-star rate Morningstar rating, a low ESG risk rating assessment, and a yield of forward yield of 10.76%. Number three is NG, with four stars Morningstar rating. Medium assessment, low ESG risk rating assessment, and forward dividend yield of 10.10%. Fourth is Volkswagen, with also a five-star rating, low ESG risk rating assessment, and a forward dividend yield of 8.46%. And lastly, Mercedes-Benz Group, five-star Morningstar rating, low ESG risk rating assessment, and the forward dividend yield, 8.28%. So as I say, go to uh, my podcast page and you'll see a lot more information on these companies. 
So end quotes there. The next article will likely interest most investors. It's titled, Three Sustainable Investing ETFs for Eco- or Eco-Conscious Investors. And it's by Shweta Kumari. It was seen on stocknews.com. Here are some quotes. 1. American Century Sustainable Growth ETF This fund targets the U.S. public equity markets, focusing on companies across various sectors, including growth and value stocks of large-cap companies, specifically those within the market capitalization range of the Russell 1000 Growth Index. American Century Sustainable Growth ETF emphasizes investing in socially conscious businesses that actively promote environmental responsibility. The fund has $19.7 million in assets under management. American Century Sustainable Growth ETF has an expense ratio of 0.39%, compared to the category average of 0.37%. The fund pays an annual dividend of $0.16, translating to a 0.28% yield at the prevailing price level. The ETF's overall A rating equates to a strong buy in our proprietary rating system. 2. Nuveen Winslow Large Cap Growth ESG ETF The fund invests at least 80% of its net assets in equity securities of the U.S. companies with market capitalizations exceeding $4 billion at the time of purchase. It focuses on companies that exhibit sustainable, environmental, social, and governance characteristics. The fund has an expense ratio of 0.65%. Nuveen Winslow Large Cap Growth ESG ETF has gained 34.7% over the past year, and 20.9% over the past six months. It has an overall rating of B, which equates to buy in our proprietary rating system. 3. iShares ESG Aware MSCI USA Growth ETF. It invests in growth stocks of socially conscious companies promoting environmental responsibility and aims to track an index of U.S. large and mid-cap equities with positive ESG characteristics. The ETF's expense ratio is 0.18%. The fund pays an annual dividend of $0.11, which translates to a 0.27% yield at the current price level iShares ESG Aware MSCI USA Growth ETF has gained 34.9% over the past nine months and 30.9% over the past year. The fund has an overall rating of A, which translates to a strong buy in our proprietary rating system. End quotes. This next article features some green U.S. mutual funds. It's titled, Seven Best Green Mutual Funds to Fight Climate Change, and is by Jeff Reeves and reviewed by John Devine. It's found on money.usnews.com. Here are some brief highlights on each of the picks from the article. 1. Parnassus Core Equity Fund. Assets under management. $30.1 billion, expense ratio 0.82%, minimum investment $2,000. The Parnassus Core Equity Fund is the leader among green mutual funds when it comes to assets under management. That said, it's not perfect or particularly flashy. It is designed to be a core large-cap fund as much as a green mutual fund. That said, investment manager Parnassus has made a name for itself by linking traditional fundamental analysis with an overlay of environmental, social and governance factors. 
Parnassus Core Equity Fund, is well established with the largest asset tally of this group, making it a logical starting place for many investors. 2. Calvert Equity Fund Assets under management, $6.8 billion Expense ratio, 0.91% Minimum investment, $1,000 Calvert is an investment advisor that prioritizes ESG in its approach. With a 40-year track record of responsible investing that takes into account sustainability and environmental factors, among other criteria. The fund is not designed to hold solar stocks or wind turbine manufacturers, but rather large-cap domestic stocks that rank highly for their internal programs, such as purchasing carbon offsets or building LEED, that's L-E-E-D, certified headquarters. Still, if you want to look beyond conventional index funds, then this fund is a good green mutual fund to consider. 3. Putnam Sustainable Leaders Fund Assets under management, $6.6 billion Expense ratio, 0.92% Minimum investment, none This Putnam offering is another of the largest and most respected sustainable investing options out there. It's also a focused as it invests in companies that have demonstrated leadership in key sustainability issues that are financially material to their business context, according to official documentation from its manager, Franklin Templeton. One notable downside that investors should consider before buying in, there are some high front-end costs associated with the fund which has a maximum initial charge of 5.75%. 4. Amana Growth Fund Assets under management, $2.8 billion Expense ratio, 0.91% Minimum investment, $100 Very accessible with just a $100 minimum investment, this Amana Growth Fund from Saturna Capital is incredibly unique in that it bills itself as halal, or fitting the religious requirements of Islam. That means you won't find businesses that focus on alcohol, pornography, or gambling. And, interestingly enough, you won't find a penny in finance because strict Islamic law prohibits demanding interest on loans. 5. Fidelity U.S. Sustainability Index Fund Assets under management, $4.2 billion Expense ratio, 0.11% Minimum investment, none A cost-effective option, Fidelity U.S. Sustainability Index Fund is a sustainability-focused mutual fund that charges just a fraction of what the other funds on this list charge. It is also the most wide-ranging of the green mutual funds so far, with 285 total stocks in its portfolio. That doesn't mean it's all that more diversified, however, as it is weighted by size, so mega-cap stocks like Microsoft and NVIDIA Corp. dominate the portfolio. 6. Calvert Small Cap Fund Assets under management, $2.9 billion Expense ratio, 1.19% Minimum investment, $1,000 Calvert Small Cap Fund is definitely the most expensive fund on this list from an annual fee perspective. That's in part because mutual funds generally have higher costs than their exchange-traded cousins. But it's also because this is a boutique offering with an active approach. 7. Parnassus Mid-Cap Fund Assets under management, $3 billion Expense ratio, 0.96% Minimum investment, $2,000 
$2,000. With a focus on mid-sized corporations and an average market value of about $30 billion, this investment vehicle offers a way to invest sustainably in established firms, but not necessarily duplicate positions you might own in a traditional large-cap fund. End quotes. As we know, renewable energy stocks are frequently having a rough time this year. However, buying low and selling high is generally the best approach when buying investments. So, for those of you who favour this approach and are interested in renewable energy stocks, this article is for you. It's titled, Three Renewable Energy Stocks to Buy at 52-Week Lows in July by Investor Place and seen on markets.businessinsider.com. Here are some quotes. While buying stocks that are at their 52-week lows is risky, on the other hand, it could present a massive upside opportunity. Thus, it is important for investors to understand exactly why the stock is down before jumping into buying. For investors looking for cheap green energy, below are the three best renewable energy stocks to buy at an all-time low in July. 1. Plug Power Specializes in hydrogen fuel systems, which are used to replace traditional batteries powered by electricity. Currently, its stock price is almost at an all-time low. It dipped to $3.07 per share, compared to $12.76 per share just a year ago. The company recently finished deploying 13 hydrogen refueling stations in Europe, making Plug Power the largest owner of hydrogen refueling stations with over 250 stations globally. 2. Array Technologies The stock is down 41.14% year-to-date. As the largest solar tracker company globally, Array Technologies offers various services including the DuraTrack system, which is a single axis tracker technology that helps maximize photovoltaic panel energy production. Recently, Citigroup upgraded the average one-year price target for Array Technologies to $19.52 per share. 3. Shoals is the largest provider of electrical balance of systems solutions for utility-scale solar. Even though Shoals' stock is down more than 70% year-over-year as of writing, Shoals has reason to make investors feel confident about buying it. End quotes. Now some other honourable mentions, not in any order. 1. Title Five alternative energy stocks to buy amid solid industry rally on finance.yahoo.com by Analak Das. 2. Title Top 20 halal stocks to invest in on discoveroptions.com by Gloria. Well, these are my top news stories with their stock and fund tips for this podcast titled Great high-yielding ESG stocks plus. Now please be sure to click the like and subscribe buttons on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, or wherever you download or listen to this podcast. That helps bring these podcasts to others like you. And please click the share buttons to share this podcast with your friends and family. Let's promote ethical and sustainable investing as a force for hope and prosperity in these very troubled times. Contact me if you have any questions. Thank you for listening. Now, I'm taking some time off, so my next podcast will be August 23rd. I'll talk to you then. Bye for now. Learn how to create a simple portfolio reflecting your personal values by taking my one-hour tutorial go to investingforthesoul.com forward slash podcasts 
and click the link in the right hand column for my DIY ethical sustainable investing pays tutorial. Now I'll mention in the podcast if I have any direct interest or holdings in companies or securities I'm talking about. Furthermore, any news, opinions, analysis or other information offered by myself as well as references and information to or from other external sources in this podcast is provided as general market information and should not be relied upon and thus does not constitute investment advice. Investors should consult their own licensed investment professional before making investments. Also, I will not accept liability for any loss or damage, including without limitation any loss of profit, which may arise directly or indirectly from use of or reliance on information in this podcast. Do contact me at ron r at investingforthesoul.com. Signing off, this is Ron Robbins. <laughs>